Okay, hey guys. Um, now, I'm going to show you a little tiny um, vintage style booklet that I've been working on. Um, it's made from recycled items, fabric. Um, most of it is recycled except for a couple of things in here which I will point out as I go. So this little journal is made from, first of all, one of these um, cardboard um, inserts that goes in between your soft drink or beer or whatever you buy in a carton. Um, here in Australia you get these um, cardboard in between the layers. So it's just made um, using some of that. Um, so let's get started. So the cover's made from that cardboard. Um, I've done some decoupaging on here with um, this. I've got some of this stuff. I bought it a couple of years ago. Um, this Tim Holtz, I don't know what you'd call it. It's not tissue paper, collage paper, whatnot. So I've just used some of that on the front of that packaging um, just to give it a little bit of strength. Um, I've also put on some tea dyed paper, some stenciling, some fabric from my grandma. Both pieces are actually from my grandma's little stash that she gave me. Um, a little bit of yarn that come wrapped in a happy mail actually. Somebody sent me a happy mail with that yarn on it. Um, keep in frame really. So I've called this little booklet um, Beautiful Things. So all things beautiful can go in here. Um, I've made some little tickets um, out of some tags, like actual clothing tags. Um, I think one was a Coles bag tag, I don't know, it come off something, that um, some clothing or whatnot. And I've just covered it in tea dye paper and with some stamping, um, some scrap pieces of fabric here, and an old button that I got from an op shop. So let's have a look. Corrugated card, some handmade stamping using my little stamp blocks here, um, which I love. So I use those throughout the journal, or the booklet, I should say. Oh, before I go much further, let me just measure it for you. It is nine and a half centimeters by 12 and a half. I'm not sure what that is in inches. I've got a ruler here, don't I, really? For those of you that go in inches, it's just over three and a half. So three and, what's that, three quarters of an inch. Um, and about five inches, roughly, in length. So it's only a dinky little thing, but it's so packed full of yumminess, guys. You should see what's in here. Okay, let's go. Um, bits of jute. So I've got bits of jute twine. Um, holding things together as well. So, um, let's pull these out. These here are from a Tim Holtz set that I bought a couple of years ago, I'm pretty sure. I bought this set and I bought um, a paper doll set. Now, I don't use them very often because I like to recycle as much as I can, but I don't have many vintage photos, so I found that in there plus these cards in one of the set. Um, I'm not sure what it was called. Um, sorry, because it's just all been tipped into a like a tub. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they're Tim Holtz. Um, so I've just um, covered the inside of the card, um, the recycled packaging with um, book page and music page there. Um, this is actually from a music book that I purchased, not this one, but similar. Um, it's on the back of these, these old um, music booklets. Um, I put, purchased these from Bonnie and Clyde's Etsy shop, I think, last year. Or it might have been earlier the year before. I don't know. It was a while ago um, when she had her music packs up. So I grabbed two of those, I think. And so I use um, the music pages throughout my work. So that's where that come from. Now we've got a little bit of burlap bag here, or hessian, whatever you want to call it, um, with a handmade little tag made out of tea dyed papers. So 
um, I've just, not tea dyed papers, tea bags, tea bags. So I've stuck um, a couple of tea bags together and I've cut out a tag and um, yeah. So that's made from that. Um, some fabric stamping. Okay. And this is also from Bonnie and Clive shop. I love shopping at her shop. So you'll hear me mention her quite a bit. Um, she recycles a lot of her stuff as well. Um, she buys from reverse garbage, yada, yada. You'll just have to go and watch her and find out what she does. These were in a stamp pack that I bought from her. Um, these are just from a stamp magazine, um, stuck on thingos. Anyway, I'll leave a link to her shop and her videos below, um, her video channel. A uh, little scrap of paper here that I've just shoved in there. That way. A pocket made from tea dyed paper. Um, this little cog here was actually from a die set that my husband bought me when I bought my Big Shot last year for my birthday. And you know what? I used it that day and probably the day after and I haven't touched it since. <laughs> so um, while I was playing, I come across these the other day from when I first got the machine and they're cut out of a mother box, so energy drink box. I don't have one near me that I can show you guys, but um, I have used this cardboard. I use it a lot in my, my different things. So yeah, so that's where that come from. So these are a year old, um, so it's about time I use them. <laughs> I know, I'm bad, I'm bad. Um, so here we go, I've made another little um, journaling spot there. A tag. Timeless treasures. More beautiful things. Oh. Um, this come out of that same set as the previous ones here. I'm sure, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure that's where I come from. Um, some more papers. This is from my music, um, back of a music book as well. Um, stamping, a little bit of tablecloth. Now this here, this plastic here, is actually microfish. So I have used some of this um, on here. So I sell this in my Etsy shop, guys, if you're after microfish. Um, I do sell this in my shop. I use it um, quite a bit. So, yeah. So that, I've covered that, and I've just used some brads um, out of my little tin here. So when I get happy mails or come across little bits and pieces, I just stick them in here. So that's where they come from. I need to buy some brads actually. I really need to just do it. <laughs> um, this here come out of here as well. Now, I don't know what they're called. I think it's a ribbon clamp maybe. Um, it's just like got little teeth on either side. And I really, really, really would love to get some of those. So um, I found one of those in here. And I've just added a little charm on one of my recycled um, copper wire jump rings that I make. So, next page. Another little tuck spot. This is some of my um, faux eco dyed papers. <laughs> anyway, um, this here is a little note that I've, I've just used a stamp on there. And I've used some of this paper that I come across in one of my boxes. This is from my school days. So I had this when I went to school. And I just love how the paper has aged naturally. Look at that. Look how beautiful it is. Yeah? Ages beautifully, just like me. Even the cardboard. Look. <laughs> so, yeah. So I was excited to come across that. So that's what this is made out of. And it's really thin paper. Um, it's nice. And these are stamp hinges. So I've just used an old stamp hinge. Um, that I come across in my stamp collection a while ago. Um, I come across these and I was excited that I still had some. Um, so I've just added a bit of distress ink around them, even though they are yellowed. Um, I've just added a little bit more distressing around the outside and I've just stuck it down 
just pretend there's a rip there. There's not really, but, you know, just makes it look nice, I think. Nice and grungy. So I'll stick that in there. Now this pocket doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. It sort of just stops here. Yeah, I made it weird. Um, I made this today, actually. Um, this is just an old security envelope that I've just ripped um, this part off. And I've stuck a, a 60s stamp. I'm not sure of the exact year, but I do know that it's a 1960s Australian stamp there. So I've just made my own... Um, what do you call it postage mark with some cardboard tubing i've got two different sizes there so i've used those um as my rounds thingo and i've put some number stamps there and i've used these um to put around there so yeah so i've made that today there's nothing in there it's just um if i can open it Nothing in there, but you can use it in another journal and put something in there, um, if so needed. So there's that. There it is. I'll get rid of that. It's a bit blurry. Um, now this young girl here, she loves to party, this one. So she's out partying. Because see, here they are here. Yeah. So she's out partying, having a good time, and she meets this fella. So she's at the casino, look at that. And then they go to a skate roll alley on their dates. You know, she saved a couple of tickets here. They must have special meaning to her. Um, live your dream. So, you know. And I'm pretty sure there was one. Oh no, it's just thick paper, there you go. Um, so here they are here, precious moments yeah they've had their dates they're engaged oh life's wonderful um little pocket here look ice cream no more mementos from their um from their dates and stuff now this thing here is a is a marriage certificate now i found that on a it was in a scrapbooking magazine so i've just cut that out of there like so um and i've just stuck it on a bit of tea dyed of my eco dyed paper actually faux it's not real eco dyed but it's faux um so i've just sort of yeah chucked it on that it's just a cut it's just a you know from a magazine so that could be their marriage certificate i guess just putting it out there now this little fella here he opens up this is another security envelope. Um, we've got a place for notes. Sweet memories. So here's another little tag out of Bonnie and Clyde's. Um, I don't know what sort of pack it was for the life of me, but I know it was some pack with all this sort of stuff in it. So I've just put a bit of um, what says gesso on there. And then there's this one here it come out of one of their magazines as well um and i've used some micro fish in there and i've just stamped out um, what, what do you use your little hole punch here so i've just a smaller one and i've just punched out that um amazing memories so a bit of napkin and the thing oh and i've just put that on the back so there's that there there's a calendar here. I know this doesn't suit the time frame, guys, but it's the only one I had. <laughs> 2019. It's just tea dyed. Um, yeah. Sorry, but that's in there. And here's her bow. Look. It's got a picture of him that she's just hung in here on a soda pop tab. I made a couple of those, actually. See? God, it's so cute. Um, so yeah, so that's just that. And it's magnetized, so it helps keep it closed. And what else have we got? 
that, that's that. We've got some stenciling. Another pocket. Now I'd say this belongs to the young man because there's his suits for the wedding. Um, this is a picture that I photocopied out of the only thing that I have from my real dad actually. Um, let me pull it out. Yeah. It's next to me because I look at it often. They come out of this. Um, this belonged to my dad. And in it are a lot of old pictures and stuff. So I scanned some of them for my, you know, for my use obviously, because I don't think I'd be able to sell them. Be copyright. Um, but yeah, some lovely, lovely images in here. Um, so that come out of here somewhere. I'm um, not exactly sure what page, but they come out of here somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, so that was scanned and printed from that book. I've just put it on some dark paper. Um, little thing over here. I don't know, it's just a, a ledger thing. Um, and I've stamped that up the top there. And then we come to New Beginnings. Look at that. Pretty. Doesn't he look so happy to be married? <laughs> Gotta love it. Anyway, um, so yeah. So that's the last page, New Beginnings. So there we go, guys. There is my chunky monkey little notebook. Isn't she sweet? Beautiful things. Yeah, it was so much fun to make. Like I said, I just grabbed 10 minutes here or there. Um, actually, I don't think I said that. <laughs> but whenever I had a spare 10 minutes or so, I'd just sit down and do a little bit more in here. It was um, really fun to make. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, so this will be available in my Etsy shop if anyone's interested. Um, anyway, till the next video, guys. Give your loved ones a hug. They're precious. And I shall talk to you all soon. Bye for now.